Good morning and welcome back everyone to this continuing series of uh, things to look for on your computer if it's acting up. So um, one of the things that uh, we also do, uh, again, if your computer is slowing down, you've already checked your hard drives, you kind of like glanced at um, replacement parts if you need them, um, is temperature. If you're noticing that your fans are running hard all the time, your system is probably running hot. Um, and so hot is not good on electronics. I think I've mentioned that before. Um, yeah, definitely um, the hotter your computer gets, the, the, the worse it is. And you never really want to go over a certain point. Um, each computer has their own specs though. Um, you know, processors, uh, you can go to the processors, manufacturers and put in, you know, optimized temperature and it'll show you um, the, the optimized temperature to the processor, to the motherboard and RAM or hard drives and stuff like that. Uh, you can look at those temperatures and then you can go to Google and uh, you can get this little system monitor program and, I'll, and I typed up here system temperatures um, in Google and it took me right to where I wanted to go was open hardware monitor. Again, it's a free program. Um, this is the official website to it. You just download it. Now this one does not have an installer. Um, so let me show you this. So when you download it, it's going to show up in your um, downloads folder. It'll show up as a zipped file here. Uh, and then you just uh, right click on that and you want to extract all. Just let it extract to its default point. It'll make a folder. You go into the folder and there's your ARPAN hardware. Now the thing to do here is right click send to desktop and that'll put it on your desktop um, so it's quick and easy to get to and then you can just close out of this and it'll put this desktop or this icon on your desktop. Um, this is what you want to do. Uh, that's just the simplest way. I figured since there's not officially an installer uh, it's already preset. Um, so I thought I'd show you the extra steps of how to unzip the folder and how to move that over there so you could do it like this. So, but this shows you a whole lot of information uh, regarding system temperatures and voltages. Uh, kind of important to know, especially if your fans are running really, really hot and hard. Um, again, if they are running that hard, uh, then obviously there's a problem. Um, so yeah, you definitely need to look at this um, these are generally by default are going to be in Celsius. So there is an optional uh, way in here to check this, uh, tick this over to Fahrenheit because you know, we us Americans uh, like our Fahrenheit, not our Celsius. Um, but if you know how to do Celsius, it'll do that. So kick it over here. Um, and again, this is going to give you, you know, the name of your motherboards and the voltages. The voltages are important. Um, you know, so your CPU core should be at a certain threshold and everything else should be uh, three volts. I believe that's about right. Uh, but this is the temperatures you're looking for. Um, so these are on the motherboard temperatures. You can see that mine is running, you know, anywhere between uh, 60 degrees, 112 at various points in the motherboard. Um, and that's perfectly fine. My average CPU, uh, the, the fans are running at about 1500. That's good. Um, these are your cores, again, clock speeds and so on and so forth. CPU temperature, this is important. And I get into baits with people who um, are knowledgeable about this. Um, when I am pushing my computer, um, it's not uncommon to see this at around about 190 degrees. Um, that is warm. It will burn you uh, if you touch that processor. In fact, if I took that cooling uh, system off mine and mine is liquid cooled, um, uh, but if I took a, uh, the cooling system off that processor, this computer would shut off almost immediately uh, because of the safety engage. Um, it would go up over 200 and to turn off and it would not let you turn it back on for an extended period of time because you're going to damage the processor uh, that way. So if you ever see us working on a computer and we're troubleshooting, every once in a while we'll see if the fans are working the way they're supposed to because sometimes it's hard to troubleshoot a fan. Um, so you take a fan off and you let it warm up. You're kind of monitoring it because if it gets too hot, you know, it's not going to work. Um, but if it goes over a threshold and it doesn't turn off on its own, then you know that the problem is in the processor or in the motherboard where the sensors are. Um, so yeah, the, if it goes over a certain temperature, it's supposed to, it doesn't 
wind down, I've, although I've seen people with programs that'll force it to slow down. Um, if it goes over to a certain point, it's supposed to shut off your computer. So if you just randomly shut off for no reason in the middle of a game, your CPU might be running too hot. Um, so, and it's hard to kind of troubleshoot that because there are various other reasons why a computer will just randomly shut off, but this is one of those conditions. Um, and so, yeah, you really need to look at the CPU temperature to see if you're going over that threshold. Um, and for this one, if you look the manufacturer specs, it says it's threshold is 80 or 92 degrees Celsius. And so when I'm really pushing the system, it's right there. Um, 90 um, usually is the max I've ever pushed it, which comes out to like 190 degrees. Uh, and this came up as a, a part of a discussion about heating your home using your CPU because your CPUs get so hot. Yeah, no, it, it maybe to keep your hands warm, but yeah, no. Um, uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, if these get too hot, it will turn off your computer. Uh, that's just a safety mechanism that's built into the processor. Uh, it does not necessarily explain why your computer is turning off at random, but this is maybe one of the causes. And so if you're going over a certain pre-programmed threshold, um, it will just turn it off. Um, you can be in the middle of a game and go ploop, gone. Um, if it gets close to running at that high level and you're pushing it right at that threshold level for an extended period of time, and I hear this biggest complaint out of gamers, uh, you're running it at that threshold uh, for an extended period of time, um, whatever game you're playing. Um, you will start to experience, sometimes you'll start to experience lag and slowdown because then the, the processor is trying to tell the fans to work faster. The fans can't go any faster because they're already at max. So you need a better cooling system. Uh, <laughs> I had a gaming system come in um, a few days ago. Um, it was like, what games are you playing? Well, they were playing WoW and um, League and something else. And looking at the history, you can see he was just pegging that temperature threshold. He was right there, but he had a fan cooling system. Um, the fans just uh, probably it was not going to be enough to keep up and I recommended that you know if you want to pay the money for it we'll put a liquid cool system in that'll help if not um, you're just gonna have to take breaks from gaming from time to time if not because you're gonna blow that processor um, you know it'll just randomly shut off or slow down or lag um, and we'll see if he'll come back to get the liquid cooling system or being that he's a gamer he might know how to install it himself so but yeah, this here, um, like I said, if you're going over a thrush, uh, if you're going over a critical point, will cause your computer to act stupid. Now there's some other things in here. You can look at voltages. Um, this will help you determine if your power supply is pushing out enough power. Power supply is going to go bad. Beyond hard drive failures, power supply is number two on uh, where the problem is. Um, again, more than three years old, you start having problems. You start looking at these numbers. Um, and you're gonna have to go to the manufacturer specs to find out what the thresholds is uh, But you should be if I went and looked at this. I you know, this is probably quite normal um, overall 86 watts on my processor. I Think I can push 135 um, When I'm, I'm at there, so I'm using maybe two-thirds of my processors right now and so that's not uncommon to see these but yeah, if you're seeing numbers that are way below the threshold, that's because your processor is not, or your power supply is not pushing the amount of power you need. Um, same with your graphics card. Here you go. Now you can look at your temperatures on your graphics card. Um, if And again, they have temperatures too. This is why on a dedicated uh, graphics card, you see fans. Um, so if they're going over a certain threshold, um, they will just kill your monitors. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> so yeah, things to look at that, you know, more fan controls, uh, so on and so forth. And then there's the temperatures for your hard drive, which we looked at in, uh, the other program, I think that was uh, crystal disc. And I think also, I think the CPU Z looked at hard drive temperatures, but, um, this program you're really looking for, um, you know, you're looking at those processor temps, um, is what you're really looking at. So, and then of course, if the processor temp is not the issue, then you're going to be looking at voltages. Uh, are you getting enough power? 
because um, processors, you know, processors might not be the problem. It could be that your power supply is going bad. Um, number two problem in a desktop computer. Hard drive is number one, power supply is number two. Um, power supplies, you know, hard drive depending upon what size and what speed you need depends on the price. Average good power supply, especially for a gaming system or a high-end system, you're going to put in about $85 to $100 uh, for a replacement. Um, and so if you know how to put it in yourself, great. If not, you know what you do. Here, let me tell you. Give us a call. <laughs> yeah, good lead, lead way, right? Uh, lead in. So give us a call. We would come to you and, and pick it up and, and uh, fix it for you if you're in our service area or you can schedule time to drop it off. If you found this useful, like, share, and subscribe. If you don't have a Google or YouTube account, you can always, 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 always find us on Facebook. That account is not going away anytime soon. Uh, video description link down at the bottom that see more. Uh, there's links in there for you know our website and how to donate to the cause. But YouTube doesn't pay me for this. Um, not yet. I got to get those numbers up. Uh, thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of views. So. Yeah, I got a long ways to go on that, but you know, that like, share, and subscribe would greatly help. And watching the videos all the way through helps too. Uh, average view is showing, oh, people only watch for three minutes. It's a 30 minute video. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, like I said, computer problems, give us a call. If you don't want to go through all of these little things yourself, we'll do it for you. So, you guys have a great day. Talk to you later.